good morning children this is mathematics class of grade 8 chapter 8 comparing quantities and this is lecture number 9 this is basically the summary lecture and for this chapter comparing quantities there will be two summary lectures in the first uh, in this lecture number 9 i will be discussing the two parts of comparing quantities two concepts of comparing quantities which include percentage and profit and loss this is the percentage part i will be covering and profit and loss i will be covering and then we will be discussing the homework solutions of lecture number 8 so today's key points are we will be covering the concept of percentage and profit and loss in this lecture and we will be discussing the homework solutions of lecture number 8 that was the previous that is the previous lecture so comparing quantities basically consists of three concepts that is percentage one is percentage profit and loss and compound interest and this is basically the part of all these three are the sub topics of this comparing quantities chapter so first of all we will be discussing in this lecture we will be we are going to discuss these two parts and then later on we will be discussing this compound interest part let us come to percentage part first percentage the word percent means per 100 or out of 100 or basically it is a special fraction in which denominator is always 100 whenever you see a percentage sign you need to write the denominator as 100 because it is a special fraction in which the denominator is always 100 and the word percent means per 100 or out of 100 out of 100 how many uh, marks if i talk about the marks like if a particular student got Uh, 75% 75 marks out of 100 marks then it means that he got 75% marks so word percent means per 100 or out of 100 percent is denoted by this symbol this is the symbol for percentage everyone knows this this is this you have studied in your previous class also so this is the symbol of percentage for example let us now interpret the percentage uh, in terms of statements for example 30% of students in class like to play football what does this mean what is the meaning of this given statement 30% of the students in the class like to play football it means that out of 100 students in a class we are taking 100 students as a whole that 100 students in a class 30 students like to play football this is the interpretation of the above statement so what do you mean by a percentage it is a special fraction in which denominator is always 100 the word percent means per 100 or out of 100 i gave you the example of marks and you can say that it is a it is the numerator of a fraction with denominator 100 percent is denoted by the symbol this is the symbol for percentage and it is read as percent and for example if i talk about uh, a statement is given to you and then you need to interpret and that statement is given to you in terms of percentage then how will you interpret that is for example 30% of the students in a class like to play football so out of 100 students in a class 30 students like to play football and as is uh, this is the chapter of comparing quantities so if we need to compare two quantities the units must be same the units of the given two quantities must be same then only we can compare two quantities if the units are not same then we need to convert uh, the unit into any of the units given to you for example amit's height is 150 cm and arav's height is 100 cm so we need to find the ratio of amit's height to arav's height so what will be the ratio one amit's height ratio arav's height like this you will be taking right or writing it you need to take the ratio so you will be writing like this so it will be 150 ratio 100 that will be equal to 3 ratio 2 so 3 ratio 2 will be the ratio of amit's height to arav's height here in this example <clears throat> in this example the unit of both that is uh, same both are given to you in centimeter 
Amid site is given to you in centimeter. Arab site is given to you in centimeter. So we need not to convert any of these into any other unit. So same units were there. So we can easily compare. If units are not same, then you need to make the same uh, unit same. If uh, if uh, if we talk about any other quantity that is given to you in meter or in kilometer, then you need to convert meter. You can convert either meter into kilometer or kilometer into meters. That is up to you. So here, but in this example, both are in the same unit that is centimeter. So we can easily take the ratio. Now, if I need to express one quantity as a percentage of the other quantity, how will I express one quantity as a percentage of the other quantity. Let us see. Percentage can be calculated by one quantity over another quantity in 200%. As I need to express one quantity as percentage of another quantity, so percent sign I will be taking here. Percentage will be given by one quantity you can take in the numerator, other quantity in the denominator into 100%. But what is this one quantity? And what is this another quantity? How will I come to know what which quantity I needed to take in the numerator and which quantity I needed to take in the denominator? Let us see with the help of this example. We needed to express 36 seconds as percentage of 8 minutes. First of all, the important point to note is this is given to you in seconds and this is given to you in minutes. You needed to first of all either change seconds into minutes or minutes into seconds that is up to you so let us see i have taken i have converted 8 minutes into seconds so 1 second 1 uh, 8 minutes 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds so 8 into 60 seconds will be equal to 8 minutes that will be 480 seconds so i have converted 8 minutes into seconds that will be 8 into 60 seconds that will be 480 seconds now required percentage one quantity why we have taken 36 in the numerator because we need to express this 36 as a percentage of this so it will be written in the numerator and 480 that is the whole thing whole quantity so it will be written in the denominator into 100 percent so it will be after solving you will be getting 15 over 2 percent that is equal to 7.5 percent so if you knew if you need to express any quantity as a percentage of an, uh, another quantity then you need to use this formula one quantity over other quantity into 100 percent but you need to find out which quantity is to be written in the numerator and which one is in the denominator here in this example i need to express 36 seconds as a percentage of eight minutes so eight minutes is the whole quantity you can say so that is why for uh, first of all I have converted 8 minutes into seconds that will be 480 seconds and the required percentage will be 36 over 480 into 100 percent that will be equal to 15 over 2 percent that is equal to 7.5 percent. Now if I need to find the percentage increase or decrease this is a very important concept and this uh, it has a very simple formula like percentage increase will be given by increase in value over original value into 100 percent first of all you need to find out the increase in the value then in the denominator you need to take original value and into 100 percent that will give you the percentage increase we have done various examples related to this concept like i have given the question the price of a scooter was rupees 34000 last year this year its price is increased to 40800 and you are supposed to find the percentage increase simple you can in find the increase in value first and then original value will be written in the denominator into 100% if you need to find the percentage decrease in the denominator it will be percentage decrease over original value into 100%. This will be the formula of percentage decrease. Let us discuss profit and loss part. We have discussed percentage part. In the percentage part, we have learned, we have learned the definition of percentage. We have learned how to express one quantity as a percentage of other quantity and then we have learned how to interpret the given statement when it is given to you in terms of percentage and then we have learned the formula of finding percentage increase or decrease. Now it is the time to discuss profit and loss concept. 
now the prices related to an item are basically there are two prices related to an item first one is your cost price this is the price related to an item this is your second is your cost price first one is selling price second is your cost price and what is this selling price the price at which an article is sold by a dealer is called selling price the price at which an article is being sold by a particular person by a shopkeeper by a dealer that is your selling price cost price the price at which an article is being purchased by a dealer is called cost price so the price at which an article is purchased by a dealer is called cost price so the price there are two prices related to an uh, item or a commodity or a particular particular it article that is the selling price and the cost price what do you mean by selling price simple uh, by the name indicates as the name indicates the price at which an article is sold by a dealer is called selling price cost price the price at which an article is purchased by a dealer is called cost price for example if you have purchased any article for rupees 900 and if you are selling that particular item for rupees 1000 so in this case 900 is your cp that is your cost price 1000 rupees is your sp that is your selling price now coming to profit part here in this example i have given you i told you that you are selling an item article or item for rupees 1000 and you have purchased it for rupees 900 in this example sp that is selling price which is rupees 1000 is greater than 900 which is the cost price so in this case you will be having a profit of rupees 100 so this is the concept of profit what do you mean by profit if selling price of an article is more than its cost price then the dealer makes a profit and profit is given by this formula selling price minus cost price if you have purchased an article for rupees 900 but you are selling it for rupees 500 then in this case the selling price which is 500 in this case is less than the cost price which is 900 in this case so you will be having a loss of rupees 400 so this is the concept of loss if the selling price of an article is less than its cost price then the dealer suffers a loss and which is given by this formula cost price minus selling price so coming to profit percentage formula this is the formula to find profit percentage if profit is given to you and dear children profit percentage and loss percentage they are always calculated on the cost price so profit percentage is given by profit over cp that is cost price in 200% loss percentage will be given by loss over cp that is cost price in 200% this is the formula of profit percentage and this is the formula of profit percentage and this is the formula of loss percentage now if sp is greater than cp then it will be the case of profit obviously if you are selling an item at a price greater than the cost price then it is the case of profit if sp is equal to cp then there will be neither profit nor loss if cp is greater than sp then it is a case of loss so if sp is greater than cp then profit will be there if cp is equal to sp then neither profit nor loss if cp is greater than sp then it is a loss i think all the three points are clear to you if sp is greater than cp profit will be there sp is equal to cp neither profit nor loss cp is greater than sp then it is a case of loss now how sp cp and profit percentage are related to you i told you one formula in the previous lecture also here i am discussing all the important formulas and all the important concepts so here sp is the selling price cp is the cost price profit is given to you in percentage in most of the questions profit may be given to you in rupees but in few questions you will find that profit percentage is given to you so i am telling you the uh, re formula relating sp cp and profit percentage sp is selling price cp is cost price and profit is profit percentage so in terms of sp you can write the formula as 100 plus profit percentage 
this is your profit percentage whatsoever it is given to you in the question over 100 into cp if i write this formula in terms of cp then what will be the formula it will be sp into 100 over 100 plus p here p is the profit percentage so sp is given by the formula 100 plus p over 100 into cp this is the formula if i write the same formula in terms of cp so it will be sp into 100 over 100 plus p there where p is the profit percentage if you are able to calculate uh, using your own method you can do in that manner if you find that these formulas are more comfortable to use for you if it is more convenient to use these formulas then you can use these formulas otherwise there are n number of ways to solve a question you can solve in your own way also now coming to sp how sp cp and loss percentage are related to one another sp is selling price cp is the cost price loss is given to you in percentage cp is the cost price loss is given to you in percentage then the formula in term of sp will be 100 minus loss o percentage over 100 into cp this is your loss percentage if i write the same formula in terms of cp it will be sp into 100 over 100 minus loss percentage so this is the formula these are the formulas relating sp cp and loss percentage as i told you that you can use this formula also or you can do in your own way also now another concept in the profit and loss is overheads the concept of overheads this is also an important concept the expenses which add extra value to the cost price of a commodity which include shipping delivery charges insurance repairs rent taxes etc these extra expenditures are known as overhead expenses or overheads for example if you are purchasing an article for rupees 500 and you are paying rupees 50 as the transportation charge or any other delivery charge you can say or shipping charge then your total cost price will be 550 rupees and your profit or loss will be calculated on this 550 rupees not on 500 because now that your cp will be 550 rupees because that commodity costs you now rupees 500 in place of 500 550 so the now the commodity will cost you rupees 550 not rupees 500 because you have paid additional 50 rupees so these are your overhead expenses or overheads and they will be added to the cost price profit or loss will be calculated on rupees 550 not on 500 rupees so overheads if any are always added to the original cost to get the total cost as i explained you and profit or loss percentage is calculated on the total cost price this is what i explained you through the with the help of an example now coming to discount what is this discount discount means reduction in the price this is quite obvious whenever we listen about discount we it quickly clicks in our mind that there must be reduction in the prices so this everyone knows and discount means reduction in prices and sometimes in order to dispose of old goods or to increase the sales or to attract the customers shopkeepers offer goods at reduced price this is what they do and this is what discount means that is the reduction in the prices so how will you define discount the amount deducted from the marked price of an article is called discount or trade discount what is this marked price let us see now marked price the price printed on an article or written on a slip attached to it is called its marked price so we have uh, i told you earlier also that what is the marked price the price which is tagged which is written on an article on a slip attached to it which is printed on the tag of an article is called your marked price and the marked price of an article is also called its listed price cataloged price priced and advertised price these are all the other names of marked price so the price printed on an article or written on a slip attached to it is called its marked price 
the marked price of an article is also called its listed catalogued or advertised price so discount means reduction in prices the amount deducted from the marked price of an article is called discount or trade discount the price printed on an article or written on a slip attached to it is called its marked price or mp now coming to selling price the price of an article after deducting discount from the marked price the price which is being paid by you after the deduction of discount from the marked price this is your selling price or net price and it is the price paid by the customer simple as this after deducting discount from the marked price the price which is paid by the customer is called selling price or net price so selling price is given by the formula marked price minus discount and if i write this formula in terms of discount then it will be marked price minus selling price now usually this discount is given to you as percentage on the marked price and discount percentage is given by this formula discount over marked price into 100 percentage if you need to find out the discount percentage then simply take the uh, write the discount in the numerator divided by the marked price because discount is always calculated on the marked price because if we always <clears throat> take or we always subtract the discount from the tagged price that is the marked price so that is why discount is always calculated on the marked price in 200% when you will be doing you will be getting discount percentage and sp i know we know that sp is equal to marked price minus discount so if discount is given to you in percentage then this will be the formula of sp where d is the discount percentage and mp is the marked price if two successive discounts are given to you that is d1 percentage and d2 percentage then sp will be given by 1 minus d1 over 100 1 minus d2 over 100 into mp if it uh, if there are three successive discounts then it will be 1 minus d3 over 100 into mp it will be now the uh, formula will be sp is equal to 1 minus d1 over 100 1 minus d2 over 100 1 minus d3 over 100 into mp likewise if there are four successive discounts then you can include the terms so sp is equal to 1 minus d over 100 into mp where d is the discount percent and if two successive discounts are given then sp is equal to 1 minus d1 over 100 into 1 minus d2 over 100 into mp these are all the formulas now coming to the homework part you are supposed to complete exercise 8.3 in your homework notebook dear children in the old edition of ncert only 11 questions are there so i have given you 10 and 11 from exercise 8.3 but in new edition in new uh, edition of ncert book question number 12 is also mentioned so you are supposed to complete that though i am discussing uh, question number 10 to 12 in this lecture also so you are supposed to complete exercise 8.3 in your homework notebook now coming to the homework solutions of exercise 8.3 ncert question number 10 the population of a place increased to 54000 in 2003 at a rate of 5% per annum find the population in 2001 we are supposed to find the population in 2001 and this question is based on the application of compound interest we have discussed in the previous lecture the concept of growth and depreciation then uh, these uh, in this question we are supposed to use those formulas let us see now here in this question number 10 v is equal to v not bracket 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n or this formula can be written in terms of amount and principal also but i will be using v is equal to v not bracket 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n you can use this formula also in terms of amount and principal if you find it easy so here we are supposed to find the population uh, sorry find the population in 2001 and population in 2003 is given to you so uh, dear children i told you in the previous lecture that this value is the value after n years so this is your population in 2003 this is your population in 2001 and rest r is given to you 
time is also given to you so you are supposed to find out v not in this first part so v is given to you as 54000 population in 2001 that is v not is unknown to us time from 2003 to 2001 time gap of 2 years is there so the n is equal to 2 years rate is given to you as 5% so putting the values in the formula simply v is given to us 54000 we have put in place of v v not is unknown so let it be v not or you can take any other variable r is 5% 5 written over here n is 2 we have written n is equal to 2 in play in the formula then solving it after cancelling 5 over 100 you will be getting 1 over 20 rest will be same so after taking the lcm in the bracket you can you will be getting like this and the equation will be 54000 is equal to v not bracket uh, 20 plus 1 over 20 raised to the power 2 now after solving the bracket you will be getting 54000 is equal to v not into 21 over 20 raised to the power 2 so this 21 over 20 raised to the power 2 will be shifted to that side it will be written here in this side that will be your left hand side so 20 into 20 will be written in the numerator divided by 21 into 21 that will be equal to v not so it will be 54000 into 400 over 441 that is equal to v not so after solving you will be getting the value of v not as 48979 decimal 59 so the value in 2001 or the value of the uh, the population in 2001 will be 48980 approximately coming to second part here what would be its population in 2005 we need to find the population in 2005 and dear children as we ha i have discussed or i told you that in formula v is equal to v not bracket 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n v represents the value after n years v is the value future value and v not is the present value so we need to find the future value in this part so the given value will act as v not now like this population in 2003 v not will be 54000 this is what it is given to us in the question in the first part this value is taken as v but here in this second part this value is taken as v not because we need to find the population in 2005 that is the future value we need to find out and population in 2005 will be v that is unknown to us n is 2 years and r will be 5% so this is the formula this is basically your future value this is your present value this is the rate by which the population is being increasing or decreasing you can say if it is decreasing then you will be taking minus sign here and this is the number of years so this is the future value basically this is what i needed to tell you in this part specifically so v not is 54000 into 1 plus 5 over 100 raised to the power 2 then after cancelling out you will be getting this 1 over 20 5 over 100 will be cancelled and it will be 1 over 20 so v is equal to 54000 bracket 1 plus 1 over 20 raised to the power 2 now after taking the lcm in the bracket you will be getting the equation like this then 50 v is equal to 54000 into 21 over 20 raised to the power 2 So 21 over 20 will be written twice because time is given to you as two years. So like this, you can take the square of 21. That will be 441. Square of 20 is 400. Rest this will be written as it is. And after solving, you will be getting the value of V. That is the population in 2005 will be 59,535. so the population in 2005 is 59535 in 2001 is 48980 so question number 11 question number 11 says in a laboratory the count of bacteria in a certain experiment was increasing at the rate of 2.5% per hour it is being increasing so we need to take the formula with the plus sign in between the bracket like it will be v is equal to v not bracket 1 plus r over 100 raised to the power n 
and it is being increasing at the rate of 2.5% per hour find the bacteria at the end of 2 hours means we need to find the future value that is what will be the value or what will be the count of bacteria after 2 hours so v is unknown to us in this case and if the count was initially 5 lakh 6000 so this is the count initial count so it will be taken as v not let us see now initial count of the bacteria v not is 5 lakh 6000 time is 2 hours rate at what rate it is being increasing it is 2.5 percent per hour so it will be written as 25 over 10 percent per hour so number of bacteria at the end of two hours that is v that is given by v which is unknown to us in this question and we know the formula V is equal to V naught bracket 1 plus R over 100 raised to the power N. So simply we need to put the values. V is equal to 5,6000 into 1 plus 25 over 10 into 100 raised to the power 2. Uh, R rate percent uh, was given to us as 2.5 percent. So it will be 25 over 10 into 100 as it is already given in the formula. So it will be 25, 1 plus 25 over 1000 raised to the power 2. So after cancelling out 25 over 1000, you will be getting 5, V is equal to 5 lakh 6000 bracket 1 plus 1 over 40 raised to the power 2. So putting the values or after solving the bracket, you will be getting V is equal to 5 lakh 6000 bracket 40 plus 1 over 40 raised to the power 2. And then it will be V is equal to 5 lakh 6000 into 41 over 40 into 41 over 40 two times. Then after taking the square of 41, it will be 1681. Then after taking the square of 40, it will be 1600. So V is equal to 5 lakh 6000 into 1 lakh uh, 1681 over 1600. So after solving, you will be getting value of V as 5,31,616 decimal 25. Writing it in, uh, we are taking the approximately value, approximated value. So the total count of bacteria after 2.5 hours, after uh, 2 hours, it will be 5,31,616. So the total count of bacteria after 2 hours will be 5,31,616. Question number 12, coming to question number 12. A scooter was bought at Rs. 42,000. Its value depreciated at the rate of 8% per annum. Find the its value after 1 year. Again, in this case, we needed to find out V. Because... It was bought at rupees 42,000 and it's depreciated. Its value depreciated. So we needed to take the minus sign in the formula. And it is being depreciated at the rate of 8% per annum. We needed to find the value after one year. So V is unknown to us. Because we needed to find the value. That is the future value. That is V we needed to calculate. So cost of scooter. It is 42,000. That is V naught. Rate of depreciation is 8% per annum. Time is 1 year because after 1 year we needed to find out. So the final value of the scooter that is V is unknown to us. And we know the formula V is equal to V naught bracket 1 minus R over 100 raised to the power N. Why I have taken negative sign here in between because the value of the scooter is being depreciated. It is being decreasing that is why negative sign I have taken in the formula. Now putting the values, V is equal to V naught that is given to us as 42,000 bracket 1 minus R over 100 that is 8 over 100 raised to the power 1 because after 1 year we need to find the value. So it will be V is equal to 42,000 bracket 1 minus 2 over 25 raised to the power 1. Then after taking the LCM in the bracket you will be getting this like this. It will be V is equal to 42,000 bracket 25 minus 2 over 25 raised to the power 1. So V will be equal to 42,000 bracket 23 over 25 raised to the power 1 after solving the bracket. 
then it will be V is equal to 38,640. So this is your final value of the scooter after one year. So the final value of the scooter that is equal to V is equal to 38,640. So dear children, in this lecture we have revised the concept of profit and loss, percentage, various formulas used in these two concepts. I hope you will be now capable enough to solve the questions based on these concepts and you are supposed to complete your exercise 8.3 neatly, very neatly in your homework notebook and avoid, please do avoid cuttings and do your rough work on a separate margin. Thank you so much.